Hi. I'm wanting to give you a bit of a preview today. I've had some really, really good results with a website that I've just relaunched for a client. And I think this is just a fantastic example of you know, when SEO works, it can work so, so well. This is very, very early days, but I'm very excited about this. And um, I thought that you might like to see it. So here is a little sneak preview of some of the results that we've already seen in week one for onlinevisas.com. So as you can probably imagine, onlinevisas.com is uh, an immigration law firm. They're based in the United States. They've been in business for over 20 years and they've been online for a good amount of that time, as you can imagine, by being able to get hold of the d domain name onlinevisas.com, which is pretty cool. So that domain's been around for a while. The client actually has already won awards. They've won awards in the last decade for their innovation in taking that area of law onto the web where you know they were really among the, the, the first people to do it. However, the, the website, although it, it you know, they were very early getting online. The website hasn't really evolved over time. This is a look at their analytics for the previous few months. This is from October of last year through to uh, mid-January, just before we relaunched. So you can tell here we're looking at, in Google Analytics, you know, they, they weren't getting 50 visits even on a good day. Um, typical days, they'd be looking between about 15 and 25 visits a day, which is pretty low for, for most websites um, and certainly not what you'd expect from a premium kind of domain and a domain that's been around for a while because obviously the age of a domain is a ranking factor it uh, tells Google that it can you know suggest that it can trust the website if that website's been around for 10 years um, so we can see a few more stats here the average person is looking at fewer than two pages and they are spending around a minute and a half on the website. Now, so you, you might assume at this point that they weren't doing any SEO, um, there was no one looking after the SEO. That's not exactly true. They were actually paying an SEO firm to look after their rankings and to do whatever they, you know, help them get traffic and, I mean, the, I have to say this this is pretty heartbreaking stuff. This this stuff goes on all the time. I you know, I see this far too much. This is just an example of the wild west scenario that we've still got playing out in online marketing. Um I'm not going to name the company. This is a copy of a spreadsheet that these guys would get every month, you know, and it it, it looks impressive, right? They've got search terms down here that they want to rank for like online visa E3, which is a visa type. Um, and at the beginning, they weren't in the top 500 for these visas. And, you know, now over time, they've gotten up into the top 10 for a bunch of these terms. So, you know, the client was saying to me, yeah, is, is this stuff working? All right. So what we have to do when you're analyzing SEO, that there's no point being at the top of Google for unicorn hoof polish free delivery, okay? Because no one's looking for it. The only search terms worth ranking for are ones that are relevant to what you're doing and that, that people are actually looking for, right? So if an SEO company, SEO consultant says to you, I can get you to the number one on Google, anyone can get to number one on Google for some completely random phrase that doesn't bring any traffic um, and here's an example so you know what I did was basically I took their top however many results from this report and I did two things I looked up in the Google AdWords keyword tool um, how many searches per month that exact phrase was getting okay and here, look, look at these. Extraordinary athlete visa, zero. Green card for snowboarder, zero, right? A few around the 10, 70, 20. A few more at zero. Vili Law Firm, that's the name of the business. Okay, 210 searches per month. And they're even ranking at number three for that term, for goodness sake, right? Um, Vili, 
the name of the of the founder you know they're down towards the bottom of of the, the top 10 for that then what i've done is i use the this lookup table this is something i use quite a lot in my keyword research as you you'll know if you've been through that um which is some historical data on the average kind of share of clicks that you will likely get on average global average um, at different positions in the search results so th then all i need to do is look it up you know for um, position one for something that gets 10 ser searches per month how many clicks are you likely to get per month and that turns out to be three so it's a you know fairly basic lookup function on there um, it's basically the uh, the number of searches multiplied by the share of clicks that you can get at that certain position these are these are the only ones that actually get any decent traffic online visas which is the name of the damn domain in the first place and they're not even ranking at number one Veely Law Firm, Veely, you know, and the rest of it's zeros, you know, the, the occasional one or two, and just, just just really, really poor, okay? So, you know, I told these guys, get rid of those guys, basically, um, because I, I don't know how much they were paying them, I don't want to know, because it's, it's money down the tube. So, here is a... A quick preview of the new online visas website so it's pretty stark you'll agree it's it's white it's mostly typography there's very little imagery on there this is using a thrive theme I think it's pressive I'll, I'll give you a link to those um, graphic design work minimal okay um, I designed a new logo we maybe did a dozen logos so they've got something that now has an O and a V and also connotes the uh, the kind of medal that you might get at something like the Olympics because they, they really specialize in um, top level ath athletes, performers, academics, that kind of thing. Um, I've done some graphics to go in the right hand column for apply for your visa now, right? Call to action above the fold. People who want a visa, um, you know, we want them to be able to do it as easily as possible so that's above the fold on every single page uh, not sure what visa you need little call to action and another one for corporate visa services right the home page has not got you know it is not highly graphical or whatever um, most of the work has gone into keyword research which was extensive weeks of keyword research figuring out the right terms to rank for then you know putting the content on the site for all these different visa types so these are just the the uh, the work visas that they do so I'll click on a page for that I'll show you what these pages look like same right hand column breadcrumb trail and um, then there's you know the visa type nice big headings very clear typography I've spent quite a lot of time working out different fonts, diff different uh, line heights, paragraph spacing, all that kind of thing. I want this to be extremely accessible. And I want people even who've um, got a, a visual impairment to be able to access this site with ease. The client did a great job. They um, literally sat there for a day and produced dozens of introductory videos. So what you get is, this is really important by the way, um, a lot of businesses are impersonal okay but there are some businesses that where what you're selling is um, an experience a relationship online visas is one of those right these guys are promoting their brand is all about the relationship where you get to work one-to-one -one with a real experienced immigration attorney this is not you know somewhere where you just submit your details and they're shipped out to some affiliate law firm somewhere right these guys want you to know that you're going to work with them so that's why it's really important to get a face on here so John Veeley himself sat down and he's just he knocked out these amazing introductions to uh, all the various visa types so that you know you as a as a browser as a prospect you get to feel what it's like to have your kind of um, uh, your your interview 
your strategy session, which they offer for free. Well, that's something that no one else does that they, these guys offer for free. Um, there's a lot here about on-page SEO, which I will tell you about in a later video. Um, so you've got all the requirements, additional details, etc., like that. That's pretty cool, you know. This is one of the things that differentiates this client, and you know, obviously. <laughs> One of the most important points that I can ever give you is to say, choose great clients. If you, if you find great clients, if you find a way for great clients to come to you, um, it makes life so much easier, right? Online visas, um, in 2014, they got 94% of all their visa applications were approved, okay? Um, and the, the average for the USCIS is something like 70-something percent. So these guys are way ahead of, of the, the rest of the market, and for good reason. You know, they, they put a particular kind of level of detail and effort and research into their applications. They don't look like other applications. And if you've got a unique point of difference like that, then blow it. You know, blow that trumpet because, you know, this 94% approval rate and the, the way it animates on there, this is on every single page, whatever visa you arrive at you will if you scroll down you will see that okay so we're really selling it we're not just saying here's some information we're saying here's the, the information you might need and it's delivered if you watch the video in a way that you'll you know you'll trust us then we'll tell you the four amazing reasons why you should choose us then at the bottom of every page we've got a means to get in touch so we've actually got this did we answer your question form which I thought would actually be used for general queries and then we could use that to build up like FAQs like we've got maybe with some of the on some of the visa pages um, like this one I think we've got some FAQs yeah so you know FAQs all good long tail um, SEO content but we've actually had in four days since this website's been live we've had four people have filled in this form and they're all they've all given their email and they're all genuine questions from people who are interested in getting a US visa okay so that's four leads in four days this is just wonderful stuff um, for every visa you've got a button at the bottom link at the bottom where you can click onto the the very next one um, apply for your visa now is a pretty straightforward process we've got a um, a table on here that does a comparison of all the different visa types that you could go for to help you figure out which, uh, which type you may need and then the application process is fairly straightforward discover the difference tells you what's going to happen they back it up with a unique guarantee if for any reason your visa application is unsuccessful we will review and resubmit it for you for free um, they make that promise to to everybody and then they've got another little form here to request your free strategy session so probably nothing on there that strikes you as wow that's incredibly innovative or that's incredibly sexy but you see online marketing isn't about that you know the 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 fundamentals have to be in place first and what i've done on this project is i've done an awful lot of planning for what keyword exactly what keywords should we be ranking for and then exactly how can we construct this site so that we'll rank well for those keywords so we've also got a bunch of family visas and you know the green cards there and another one for international visas as well so i'm guessing you would like to see what the results have looked like okay so this is the traffic for the blue line is um, all sessions and the orange line is for organic traffic that's search traffic and I was I was expecting search traffic to increase over the first few weeks but it's uh, it's clearly increased immediately um, so here if you see there's that little annotation that little kind of uh, quote box there that's when the the new site went live on Monday and you know so the traffic obviously jumped up you know because I put it on Facebook and told friends and stuff and people have come along to see it but the search traffic has also gone up so we're you know we're hitting knocking on 30 visits a day whereas previously you know we we're looking about 15 a day on a typical weekday so search traffic has instantly doubled 
on there. But here's something, um, in fact, I'll show you on the next screen. But here is what I want to show you. Okay, This is a very simple comparison. This is something I like to do, um, and I find myself doing more and more in Google Analytics, which is to compare the results for a particular stretch of time with the results for an equivalent stretch of time in a previous year. Very straightforward. So here I've compared January 18th, which is when we launched, up to yesterday, January 21st, 2016. And I'm comparing that to previous year. Now I've added one to each of the dates on there to make sure that we were looking at a, you know, an equivalent Monday through Thursday. Because there's no point comparing, you know, if you've got a Friday and a Saturday, you know, they're very different people behave very differently so we want, we want to compare equivalent days now check this out okay so this is this is for organic traffic by the way and that's important because I don't want to be including you know people who may have come from my mailing list or my blog post or, or Facebook stuff like that I want to be looking at fresh probably first time completely raw new prospects so I've filtered this just for organic traffic this year in organic traffic we've had 105 sessions over those four days compared to 22 in the previous year so that's up like nearly four time nearly five times more traffic look at all these numbers um, number of visitors up 263 percent number of page views this is incredible. Number of page views up 1,183%, right? So in those four days since we launched, visitors from organic traffic, right, new visitors, have looked at 385 pages compared to only 30 a year ago in the same period. And this is why, you know? So we've got, obviously, a lot more visitors, um, but each of those visitors is now looking at 3.67 pages instead of uh, 1.36. Why? Well, it's because this site is clear, accessible, feels right, um, good typography, and the links are there. The links are easy to find. right? So you can follow your nose through the site. Um, how long are they spending on the site? Nearly five minutes each. Four minutes, 52 seconds average on the site now compared to one minute three seconds a year ago this is just absolutely stunning and the bounce rate is down one eighth as well so I, I just had to share this with you guys because this this is a um, fantastic result now I'm going to do another video all about um, where I'm going I'll basically I will take you through the an example of the keyword research that I've done for this I'll show you the real world case study for that and show you why I made the decision to go with certain terms instead of certain other ones and then I'm going to show you I'll take you through the on-page optimization that I did and I'm going to show you another um, SEO trick that can help your websites to rank well and rank fast as well so if you saw my 2016 look ahead video the other day, you'll know that I'm launching Web Design from Scratch Premium. Um, that is now in its kind of preview launch period. Web Design from Scratch Premium is basically, it's just going to be a library, a rolling library of stuff about um, all the essentials, HTML and CSS, so how do you build web pages and WordPress, of course, obviously. Um, so all the production side of things, we'll look at the essentials of graphic design, copywriting, and SEO, and conversion optimization. All of the skills that you need, but not in the old way. Not like the old Pro Web Design course, you know, which goes back to 2010, when we were still hand-building so much. The Web Design from Scratch Premium is now about um, how to design and build websites for 2016. Right, how to do it the right way using the tools, all these amazing platforms and stuff that are available to us today. Now, of course, all of those platforms are now available to everybody. You know, it's become easier for everybody to design and publish websites. So, 
you know, it's never been more important to to do it the right way, to create websites like I've just shown you, where you know it they jump up the search rankings, where you you get the share of traffic that you deserve to get, and um, I mean I could show you the in fact let me sh let me show you while we're here. Okay, so I'm in uh, Moz, where I have a project set up for online visas, and what we're looking at here is really the first week's results for this website. So we, we've got terms here um, like flat fee visa. That was actually a search term that they I got from their previous report that they were ranking for before. That's up 30 places up to 20. So it's at the bottom of page two now. Um, this is a term that they were ranking for already, but outside the top 50. They, they were tracking it already. We've got other terms like E2 and e EB2, EB3 visas. We're ranking at number one for that, which is understandable. It's a fairly obscure. EB13 visa, we've gone straight in at number two on Google for that particular term. Outsourcing immigration services, straight in at number four. Online visas, down one to five. Um, so, you know, this, this traffic, we can see so many where we've you know, we're now, we've, they've gone straight into the top 50 for the first time for a lot of these terms. And these terms now are all terms that people are looking for, right? We're not tracking crap anymore, you know? This this is not, um, we're not messing around now. This is, this is all serious stuff. This means business. This, this means money in their pockets. So... I'm going to make that that uh, that second video where I'm going to reveal all these um, techniques and tricks that I've used to to get these results to you. That's but that's going to be in the premium section. So if you want to get hold of that, then all you need to do is just sign up for Web Design from Scratch Premium. Now the the full rate of this um, is going to be nineteen dollar nineteen dollars per month. If you sign up early, you'll get it for just nine dollars fifty per month and believe me the content that that you're going to get just in this next video alone will be worth i think your whole first year's subscription so if you subscribe at the you know the lower rate 950 a month that's a price of what a sandwich and a coffee um per month then uh, you'll get that rate. You can carry on at that rate for as long as you remain subscribed. It's never going to go up. It's never going to change. And we're just going to keep adding and adding and adding more of this great content over time. So please go along. Go to webdesignfromscratch.com. You'll see there's a... Uh, just click on premium content there at the top. Early access and click the big blue button to say sign up as a premium member. Now get that low rate. If you don't like it, if you don't think you're getting incredible value for money, just cancel. It's a PayPal subscription, just cancel at any time. Uh, we've already got uh, some, some content on there. Some I've made my first HTML from scratch video on the essentials of that. I've got another video where I take you through my keyword research process from first principles. Um, and so I think if you look at that and then you watch the the video that's going to come after this, that will that will give you some some real material that you can use for your own stuff. So thanks for watching, um, and I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.